Welcome back to Studio 701. It's Monday morning, which means it is time for a weekly coffee talk. And coffee talk is the time we talk about current events, pop culture, and much more over some coffee. In today's coffee talk brought to you by 12 Stones Coffee, we're talking about presidents and presidential trivia with Matt McMurdy. Thank you so much for being with us today, Matt. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Okay, I happen to know Matt is an expert on especially President Lincoln. And that's because he's the owner of the Gifted Bean Coffee of Shop. Okay, a big oh fan. <laughs> Expert's a big word. And so whenever I would go order my coffee at the Gifted Bean Coffee Shop, he would always have a trivia question just ready to go. Okay. So you'd get your coffee order, and I loved it, and get mm -hmm. challenged with a piece of trivia. I The answer was always... President Lincoln. Fair enough. But uh, sometimes I still didn't sometimes get it. Sometimes you still got it wrong. It took me a while <laughs> yeah. to catch on. <laughs> took me a while to catch on. That's all right. Lob and softballs. <laughs> where did this all come from? Like, where did your um, fanhood come from? You know, I, when, when I was a kid, my dad took me to D.C. on a business trip for him and, and a fun trip for me. And, and so had some free time. And I, he took me to a, a play at, at Ford's Theater. Um, and I, it was... Uh, a play called Greater Tuna that I know they've just redid here in Bismarck too. Um, um, but just the fascination of being in Ford's Theater, we're right under the presidential box mm. where, where, you know, it all happened. And, you know, they have a fabulous museum there, museums all over there, obviously, but in mm -hmm. Ford's Theater. And it just, I don't know, I started reading up on it and, and uh, I've been a trivia buff ever kind of since. Yeah. So a question I have then, are all the answers Lincoln? Um, we'll find out. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, are you going to make this really easy on me today? Okay, well, we are ready whenever you are, Matt, um, for this very fun edition of Trivia President's Day style. So what's your first question for Okay, us? here we go. Which U.S. president had the shortest term and how long was the term? Your choices are Barack Obama, William Henry Harrison, John Adams, and Martin Van Buren. And bonus points for how long was the term? I don't see Lincoln on there. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, I have my guess. I have my guess also. Ready? One, two, three. Harrison Martin Van Buren. Van Buren. Oh, both. So wrong. <laughs> really? Uh, John Adams. Wh William Henry Harrison. I said he that! Said it. Oh, I, 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 heard, I heard Marty Van Buren. And so. uh, bonus point, 32 days. Okay. No, oh, I yeah, saw the answer saw on the screen. The <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah. wait a second. Quick they what? are here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. We will play the tape back. I did say Harrison. All right. Fair enough. She, she so, did. Sure okay. enough. I'll okay. give you that. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Only right. 32 days, though? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> All right. Next question. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. What play was Abraham Lincoln watching when oh. he was shot? Uh, answers are The Colleen Bond, The Seven Sisters, Our American Cousin, or The Royalist. I think I actually know this one. Yeah, because you used to go to the Gifted Bean. Oh, you still do. Go to the no, Gifted Bean and get he never asked trivia me this from, one. from Matt every day. Um, you go first, because I think I do know this one. I, I have no idea. The Royalist. I think it's our American cousin. You are correct. Two for two. American two. Amber is correct. Amber yeah. is correct. Mike Schatz is <laughs> yeah. smiling from ear to ear right now. It's early, Jeff. Okay, just wait. Dr. Just wait. Joy is not. Okay, okay. Our American cousin. I All just right. remember that. All right. Are we ready for the next easy? We question? are ready. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> easy, right. he said, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Question is. Which U.S. president has been the only one to serve two non-consecutive terms? Your choices are Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Grover Cleveland, or William Howard Taft. I mm. think I might know this one, too. So I'm going to let you go first. Taft. I think it's Andrew Johnson. And you are both so wrong. I mean, Cleveland. It's Cleveland? It is Grover Cleveland. <laughs> Man. Yes. Yes. Holy cow. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think we both need to go back to school and <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah, because you're getting them right. Oh, I didn't get that one right. Okay. All right, all right. we're ready, ready for, for another one. one? Yep. We're ready. <laughs> this, one, this one's kind of a grimmer one, but how many U.S. presidents have been assassinated? Ooh. Your choices are 10, 6, 4, or 3. It's 3. No, it's f 4. Was Cleveland assassinated? I will say 3. Uh, it might be four. four. It's four. It is four. Oh, right. my goodness. Yeah. Was Cleveland assassinated? Uh, no. Well, my Okay. Answers are right there. Yeah. There we Abraham go. Lincoln, James Garfield. Garfield. That's what I'm thinking of. And John F. Kennedy. Wow. Oh, my Martin goodness. Martin Van Buren wasn't even a that. president. Martin, Martin, he was. Yeah. Well, it wasn't because there's the commercial, Got Milk commercial, who assassinated Martin Van Buren, Aaron Burr. 
Who did Aaron Burr? Never mind. Well, well, well that, that, that's a whole, that's, that's a duel yeah. against uh, what is uh, going a Broadway right act named and Hamilton. If and, we're yeah. getting our history from the milk commercials, <laughs> we're all in trouble. I Yet, I know exactly what you're talking about. That was very good marketing, but not good history. Okay, here we okay, go. I, I have one more if we're ready. <laughs> we're ready. Okay, here we go. Which U.S. president served as a chief justice of the Supreme Court after Ooh. his term as president? Your choices are Dwight D. Eisenhower, William Howard Taft, James Carter, or Theodore Roosevelt? Taft. I'll say James Carter. Taft is the correct answer. No. So th is it two to two? Oh, no. Two to two. I think Actually, we have to I review think, the tape. Yeah, there, we'll have know. to review the um, answers. I started two out two. strong. You ended two strong. Two. You made Jamestown very proud at the end there. Two to two. I did not uh, <laughs> make Jamestown very proud. I can promise you that. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Absolutely, that was fun. And you stay right here. This All has right. been a Coffee Talk, which is brought to you by 12 Stones Coffee.